All right, welcome back. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at reading one for chapter five, titled Five Unusual Sports, the most unusual sports from around the world, similar to that of the wife carrying competition that we saw in that uh, news clip uh, earlier in the unit. So before we read together, and I'm actually going to read with you, um, just, just to kind of go through the dictation, the pronunciation, especially of that new vocabulary. Uh, but before we do the reading, let's take first uh, a look at the assignment that you're going to be working on, and that's on pages, nine, uh, pages 92 and 93. So you're going to be completing the while you read section. Uh, so let's take a look at these so that we know what you're going to be asked to do after you complete the reading. So for section four, as we read the text together, write the correct heading above each paragraph in the text. So write the correct heading, and you have your options here, fireball soccer, dragon boat, racing, camel wrestling, caber toss, and Coney Island polar bear plunge. A plunge is when you go into the water uh, with a lot of um, excitement, to, like how a kid jumps into a swimming pool, right? They plunge um, to go into a body of water very eagerly. So as you read the text, write the correct heading above uh, each of those paragraphs. So if we go back, paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, four, five, and six, of those six paragraphs, which one would you title Fireball Soccer? Which paragraph would you title, put at the very top, Dragon Boat Racing, Camel Wrestling, Caber Toss, and the Coney Island Polar Bear Plunge? So for example, the Coney Island Polar Bear Plunge uh, would looks like would be right here, paragraph number two. We know that because we're talking about the sport of swimming, Coney Island, which is the location in New York City. And they talk about time of year, the temperature, and uh, some of the benefits, why people <laughs> do this in the middle of winter um, as, an, as an activity, a competition. Okay, so back to the while for reading. First part is to use those headings to title the paragraphs on pages 90 and 91. For activity five, and you can do this in your notebooks if you want, or you can print out these pages. I included the PDFs in our Canvas course. You can write it in your textbook and take a picture. So however you prefer to do is okay. For section five, write the names of the countries where each sport is popular. So fireball soccer is popular in what country? Dragon boat racing is popular in what country? If we take a look, for example, uh, dragon boat racing, that sounds pretty cool. If we look at that paragraph, we're looking for country. Now, Chinese is not a country. Chinese is an adjective. So mm, that's not going to give us the answer. It looks like Singapore is a country. It can give some, also some other countries where dragon boat racing is popular. China, Malaysia, and Indonesia. So we're looking for countries for question number five. Question number six asks you to take a look at the text again and take a look at the sentences. The sentences have one mistake. 
and you need to cross out the incorrect information and replace it with the correct uh, facts provided in the reading. So for example, the Coney Island polar bear plunge takes place on Christmas Day. Uh, I think when we looked at that briefly it said New Year's Day. I don't know if you can see that very well there, but in paragraph 2, New Year's Day would be the correct information. So cross out Christmas Day and then put New Year's Day for number 1. And all the answers you're going to find there on pages 90 and 91. All right, so that's section six continues at the very top of page 92. Uh, and then number seven, reading in between the lines, you just have a few multiple choice questions. And we're focusing on recognizing what kind of text this is. Uh, looks to be a text that would probably come out of a a website or some sort of blog, right? Just like how we uh, saw in the news piece there in, um, uh, on ABC News. So some sort of a news website or, or news blog, perhaps. Maybe even a travel blog. So part seven, you're going to answer these questions uh, down below. What kind of person is this text Four, who is the intended audience? Part two, where do you think you might see this text? Kind of talked about that just a moment ago. And then number three, what do you think the text is? Do you think it's an advertisement? Advertising some sort of competition or sport? Or do you think it's an article? Something that's more informative. Uh, not necessarily persuasive, trying to get you to buy something. An advertisement is, uh, the intended goal of an advertisement, of course, is to get you to purchase something. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the reading together now. Back on page 90, five unusual sports. So now that we know what we need to do, let's go ahead and take a look at the reading. The most unusual sports from around the world. Every country has a national sport, and most popular sports are, play, are now played across the world. Most people have heard of sports like football, basketball, baseball, and soccer. However, in most countries, people also play unusual unusual sports with strange and interesting rules. Here are our top five unusual sports from around the world. So this is kind of an introductory paragraph. And now we're going to go into some examples. Uh, those five unusual sports. All right, paragraph number two. People go swimming in the Atlantic Ocean in the winter. They go swimming at the beach on Coney Island in New York City every Sunday from October to April and also on New Year's Day. The water temperature can drop to as low as 30, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's zero degrees Celsius. Sometimes there is snow and cold wind, too. People believe that swimming in the cold water is good for their health. The club started in 1903. Remember in English, especially with years, dates, we often pronounce the zero as O. 1903. Of course, this is not the letter O, but it's more comfortable to say O instead of zero. So very common in English when we're talking about the year or the date to pronounce zero as O. All right, let's go to the third paragraph there. Every year in Singapore, 
thousands, thousands of people come to watch the Dragon Boat Race. A Dragon Boat is a traditional Chinese boat with a painted dragon's head on one end. There are 22 people in each boat and they race in the water. Dragon Boat Racing is also popular in China, Malaysia, and Indonesia. Paragraph number four. In this sport, people compete by throwing a large piece of wood called caber. You can see a picture of it down below there. Uh, as far as they can. The caber toss is an ancient, ancient Scottish sport. The caber has no official size or shape, but it is usually the size of a small tree. Goodness gracious. Oof. Amazing. Caber toss. All right. Fifth paragraph is about the fireball soccer, right? S uh, students in Indonesia play this game to welcome the month of Ramadan. It is similar to soccer. The ball is made from coconut shells, but before starting the game, players pour salt on themselves and then light the ball on fire. The ball is on fire throughout the game and players play with their bare feet. Oof. And the last paragraph, paragraph number six, in Turkey, camel wrestling is a very old sport. The largest camel wrestling competition takes place in Ephesus every year. And thousands of people come to watch. In the sport, two male camels wrestle each other. Sometimes the camels do not want to fight and they run through the crowds, which can be dangerous. <laughs> Some really unusual, from our perspective, I guess, five unusual sports, not like baseball, basketball, or football, to be sure. So that is the article. Uh, you can also listen to the article as well by clicking on the headphone icon there. Uh, but I thought I'd dictate it to you and go over uh, what it is that you have to do for reading number one.